NFL gambling picks for week number six. Let's go on and tell you this is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager on any of these games that we're giving you down at Tunica at any of their five, nope, six fine six. sports books. Uh, Horseshoe, Hollywood, Samstown, First Jackpot, uh, 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 Gold Strike, and the Fitz. Fitz, Fitz Casino. Hey, you know, I went off my my kilter there. I, yep. I didn't I didn't go in the same order as I usually do. Either way. Can't mess up the rotation. Yeah, I need to keep the rotation going. Um, over at winningcureseverything.com. Picks contest. Picks contest. Bam. You got that right. Last week, Charles E. from Parkersburg, West Virginia, won with a 7-3 and three record. Come on down and visit us from West Virginia. Absolutely. If, uh, if he gets down here, Charles, we'd love to see you. We'd love to hang out. So we, we got somebody coming from uh, from Huntsville, Alabama, somebody coming from South Carolina, Hilton Head, South Carolina. We got somebody coming from West Virginia. We got somebody coming from Collierville. Every week we got a different winner. Pick 10 games against the spread. All you got to do, all you got to do, just go over there, any email address, put your name in, tell us where you're from. Easy enough. Let's jump in. Last week we both went two and three. Not good. Not good at all. I'm 12-12 and one against the spread. You are 14-9 and two, so you still hold the lead here. I am between college and the pros. I am one game below 500. Not, That's not bad. Not feeling good. Huh. I early. should be up like six, seven, eight games right now. All right. Like I, I swear that some of these I have lost that just I cannot. None of it makes sense. I mean, none of it makes. NFL took one away from me a couple of weeks ago. That's not. Yeah, good. yeah. No, that's uh, NFL and college are both taking a couple away from me, but uh. Either way, you can't fret about it too long. You just got to come back and hit your bookie in the mouth. Don't worry about old stuff. Hit your sports book in the mouth. That's what we're going to teach you how to do this week. Let's jump right in. Game number one for me. We got a lot of the same games. We we got – we So just when you do a this. game that I do, we're just going to talk about it. There's no order. Okay. So what's your first game? First game for me, Steelers plus two and a half at the Bengals. Well, we're going to do this one first then. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go on and do this one. Sunday, 12 p.m., CBS. I know we're going to go ahead and head on this because you hate the Steelers. I know you do. Uh, Steelers got things right last week against Atlanta. Atlanta is the cure for all offenses that are having chemistry problems. The Steelers got things figured out. The running game is running again. Everything looks good. Antonio Brown looks like he's happy again. Things are rolling. Uh, Steelers need this win more than the Bengals do. And I understand there is hatred here. I got you. But, my goodness, this is the time of year, generally, where the Bengals start to decline, right? They're 4-1 and one right now. Steelers are 2-2-1. Two, two and one. Steelers need this ball game. I got them. I think, they will, I think they'll win this game straight up. Okay. Go ahead. Give me a reason why I'm wrong. So, I've got the Bengals because, A, the Bengals are not the Falcons, Okay. They're not a garbage <laughs> defense team. This is a really good defense. They've played well all year. Top to bottom in the lineup, they're 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 just a better team overall than the Steelers are. That's just that's just true. The Steelers are gonna turn the ball over far more. That's way important when it comes to winning and losing these games and covering spreads. Outside of Antonio Brown, there's not another level of the game where the Steelers are better. This is not Ben is not better than Andy Dalton. The numbers say he's not. This year, okay. he's way worse. I think the Bengals are at home. I think this Bengals team is good. I think they're tough. They're getting Vontez Burfick back. I don't know that Ben finishes this game because Burfick's going to see to it that he might not. You don't think Josh Dobbs will cover this spread? God, okay. no. <laughs> no. Now, now, now you're just making me laugh. I know, I know. I, I like the Bengals. I like the Bengals before it, it's not a Steelers hatred thing. The Steelers just don't look good. They don't look good. They look great against the Falcons. Falcons are a terrible team. It's easy to yeah. look great against bad teams. I can understand that. They haven't looked good against a single good team uh, yet. A lot of this is based on historical mess, right? The, the yep. Bengals, they have come out of the gate firing a lot. But this is still Marvin Lewis. It is still Andy Dalton. It's still the same team. Like I, they they get too emotional in games like this. I I could okay. see the Steelers winning this one. All right, we go to opposite on that. Let's go game number two. Rams minus six and a half at the Broncos. I don't think we're going opposite on this one. I doubt it. Uh, you are the one that said last week that you were not betting against the Rams until uh, until they lose. Until they lose. Now I'm I did bet on. against them last week. 
They went up to Seattle. They were down 31-24 entering the fourth, and I covered the spread. The Rams still won the ball game. I think they are going to be pissed off. Yep. I think they're going to be very upset. The Broncos against the spread in the last two years, they are 4-12 and 12 in their last 16. Yeah, they're not against the spread. The Broncos have just not been impressive at all. No, they are like they they're starting they the wrong guy at quarterback. Yeah, they can't and figure no, this thing. Nobody's out. willing to stand up and say, "Hey, maybe we're starting the wrong guy at quarterback." I, I'll tell you this: if Case Keenum plays the entire ball game here, uh, this uh, the six and a half is nowhere near no. what this thing will be because Case yeah. Keenum will throw them the football three times. Uh, the Rams will score on this defense because. Von Miller and, and those guys cannot get pressure on the quarterback for whatever reason. Jared Goff will have a field day. Uh, I mean, I, I love the Rams here, especially under a touchdown. Yep. I mean, this is this is perfect. That's Six Sunday. And a half, doesn't matter. Sunday at 3.05 p.m. on Fox for that game. Next one up, the Ravens at the Titans. Okay. I got the Titans plus three. I got the Titans plus three. I think the Titans maybe win this one outright. I, absolutely, I do this not is, think this Ravens team is that great. Yep. I think when they play a tough physical team, they fold. They beat the hell out of the Steelers. They got smoked by the Bengals. They beat the hell out of the, uh, the Bills. They got beat up by the Browns. Yeah. They they just, when they play physical teams, that offense collapses on itself. Joe Flacco is not a good quarterback when you push him around. The Titans are going to push you around. That's Sunday at 3.25 p.m. The Titans will drag this one into the mud. Correct. It'll be low scoring. The Ravens are not great in those kind of games. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I love this pick. It, Titans will be after I get a losing. Home, I get a home dog. Yeah. yeah. Getting it, embarrassed. It, it got embarrassed by the Bills last week. Yep. And and now you got the Ravens coming in. This, this will be a good time for them to uh, correct things. Uh, next one up. I don't think we're – I don't think we have this one together. I got the Chargers minus one and a half at the Browns. That's Saturday noon at CBS. Now, this is nothing against the Brownies. It sounds like it's against my Brownies. No, no, it's not against the Brownies. I, like, I like Cleveland this year. Like, I, I, I enjoy Baker Mayfield. I like all of this. But I think... You just I don't think, think they, they're going to win the game? No, I don't. I think the Chargers, in this spot, they are looking to get things turned back around. I think they started to the last couple of weeks. Phillip Rivers looks good. Running game looks pretty good. Defense is starting to come around. Uh, I think going into Cleveland, they're going to be fired up. They're going to be ready to roll. Cleveland came off a huge emotional win over the Ravens. Rivalry win. Uh, I, I like the Chargers here. Chargers minus one and a half. This is not one of my gambling picks, but I, I, I'll take my brownies. <laughs> I'll take my brownies <laughs> against Anthony Lynn and whatever Jamoke he's going to put out there as a field goal kicker that – is going to miss like four extra points and any field goal he put in at. So I'm good with that. <laughs> then I guess I'll get the pick that's not our other game that we have. Give me the Jags minus three against the Cowboys. Hell, the give, give, reason, give, me, give me the quote again. You fade Jason Garrett as long as he's the damn coach. Yeah. If he's going to stand on the sidelines, you just go the other way. Last week, I was afraid because. The Houston Bill O'Brien is also the, not yeah, great. Bill O'Brien is is just one of those that says, let's pump the brakes on this rule. And I was right. I think it would have pushed. I don't know. If you would had the hook, it would have lost. But um, the Jags are not the Houston Texans. The Jags are going to beat the ever-loving hell out of this Cowboys team. All they have to do is stop Zeke. That's it. Yeah. Dak is not going to come close to beating them. All they have to do is stop Zeke. I could see it. And kick field goals. I could see it. I, I mean, I, I buy it. Now, like, I, I told you, like, my metrics say the other way, but I still – you you were asking me before we recorded. I thought you were going to – I thought we were going you, opposite on this because you you talked all this noise I, about how the Cowboys should win this game and no, the no, Jags no, no. aren't real good. And then it's not even one of your gambling picks. It's because I'm not dumb enough to bet on the Cowboys. All right. I'm not doing that. I'm this team is to bet against too them. crazy. I will tell you this, though, and I, we talked about this before. They are undefeated at home. I understand they played crap teams. I got I, I got you. I got you. But, I mean, they have looked better at home than they did on the road. Uh, game number five for me and for you. We're going head-to-head. Yes, we are. Panthers 
Plus one at the Redskins. You're making a colossal rookie mistake. This is not a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. This is not a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Now, you say that they are the back and forth they whatever team. They are the back and forth whatever team. Redskins, one less day to prepare. I understand they're at home. I got that. Carolina, they got a hell of a defense. I think Christian McCaffrey will be able to run a little bit on that defense. They barely just beat the Giants. I understand that. And that's partly why I think that they will come out and win this ball game. Okay. Okay. And this is just one of those very simple, you just bet against Jay Gruden every other week and you bet on him every other week and you're going to cover spreads every week. That's just it. Well, they had a bye week. I didn't know what to do. I pumped the brakes. I watched them get boat raced against New Orleans. They're going to get it figured out. They're going to – I don't have any metrics for you. I don't have any numbers for you other than the history of Jay Gruden. Jay Gruden is a good coach every other week. And then he's going to feel real good about himself. And they're going to say, guys, man, we've got this figured out. We're number one in the NFC East. We're rolling. And then whoever they play next week, you bet against the pad, uh, the, the, the skins. So okay. give me the skins. Just got to win the game. Minus one. Or plus one. Well, I got, this, I got the skins minus one. Oh, yeah, you did. I'm sorry. I had the Panthers plus one. Yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah. I mean, it's a. Just got to win the game. It's basically a pick em game. I like it. I like it. That is our NFL gambling picks for week number six. Well, one of us is going to do pretty good, and the other one's going to be The other one's going to be upset. really upset with himself. <laughs> It'll probably be me. You tend to know more about this NFL stuff than I do. Nah. Um, I do. I do follow numbers. I do, like, in, and I've started to get more into my feel, right? Like, I, you know, I'm trying to anyway. Uh, but that is our NFL gambling picks for week number six. As always, it's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi. We gave you everything you need to know to go be a winner. Go put some action down in Tunica at any of their six sports books. You can find all the information on that over at tunicatravel.com. You can get these picks over at winningcureseverything.com. Don't forget, go into the picks contest. I think that wraps it up for the week, right? Yes, sir. We'll see you guys next go round. Good luck, guys.